All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and this is your PSA. Go to Banshee44 as soon as you can. You have exactly five and a half days until the weekly reset when his entire inventory will change. Banshee's complete inventory changes every week at the weekly reset, and then again, for whatever weird reason, he bugs out exactly 31 hours after the weekly reset, and his weapon selection actually stays the exact same in terms of what weapons are offered, but the randomized rolls change on all of the weapons, i.e. bugged Banshee. And if you don't believe me, or if you're unaware of this bug, if you actually go to the tower at weekly reset and pay attention to this timer here it will say that refreshes in seven days at the weekly reset so this is meant to reset every tuesday at the weekly reset unfortunately for whatever weird reason it resets 29 hours after the reset which i think is awesome though because it just gives us more opportunities to get god rolled weapons but for right now and for the next five and a half days he has a crate auto rifle that is a near perfect god roll this thing is so good and i'm going to demonstrate exactly why Looking at this weapon, we will start with its origin trait, which is Vice Stinger. Now, we already know this to be extremely good because this is the same exact origin trait that's on the funnel web. So unbelievably strong, reloading this weapon frequently, which is really good for ad clear. And I'm going to demonstrate why the crate is probably one of the best ad clear weapons, especially with this roll. Headstone being probably the best perk in slot. The only other comparable perk would be one for all. Both are excellent for ad clear, but headstone with a really strong stasis build is insane. And the next perk is subsistence. And you might think that subsistence doesn't really pair well with headstone because the stasis crystals would be blowing up enemies, but it actually works perfectly because the stasis crystals blowing up actually feed the subsistence. So you end up almost never needing to reload this weapon because those massive stasis crystals blow up kill a huge pile of ads, and completely refill the magazine. The only other Perkins slot that you would really want in this place would be Overflow, which is also a really good option because you could just get a massive magazine. But honestly, I do think that Subsistence is a better choice, especially when you see in a moment how well it pairs with Headstone. Along with this, we actually have Appended Mag, which I do think is the best option for the magazine. Unfortunately, though, for the barrel, I would personally choose Hammer Forge, and I would give it a ranged masterwork if I could choose. But a handling masterwork and corkscrew rifling are really not that bad. Now let's go ahead and demonstrate how good this is at ad clear. All right, so I'm in the Shuro Chi checkpoint here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot out about half of my magazine here. Get around to the low 20 point. And then what you'll notice is that I will shoot an enemy and it'll make headstone crystal pop. So there's the headstone crystal. I'll shoot the crystal. It'll blow up and it'll kill a bunch of enemies nearby. And I'm back to 59 in the magazine, which is really, really nice. And that actually didn't even proc... The origin trait which is the vice stinger and if you are using this weapon frequently you will not only get the subsistence crystals from the headstone to blow up which give you tons of ammo back and refill the magazine full but you'll also randomly get vice stinger to refill your magazine which is especially awesome so basically when you're using this weapon you're just going to be firing bullets endlessly and almost never need to reload this weapon which is really really cool and why this crate is definitely worth grabbing from banshee so that's your psa you got five and a half days make sure to go grab this bad boy and make sure you're subscribed to this channel with notifications on if you want to stay up to date on all things in destiny 2 smash the like button i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching later